On behalf of uh, Sabri bin Omar and also uh, the 47 groups, um, we are today uh, here to submit the uh, complaint and petition so on the gross human uh, rights violations suffered by uh, the Indonesian migrant workers uh, who work at the Fui Corporation in Rembrandt since 28 uh, January 2016. Um, within uh, of the, uh, hours of the attempted uh, termination by the employer on the 4th April 2022, uh, these documented migrant workers uh, with a valid social visit uh, temporary employment was arrested by the police as a suspect on alleged non-immigration uh, crime on the 5th of April. So uh, he was brought before the uh, he was not brought before the magistrate within 24 hours. So and according to Sabri, he was uh, brought before the magistrate, um, not brought before the magistrate um, throughout his detention, and that lasts until 19 April. So the police were given uh, Sabri the Indonesian passport on arrest. So on the 19th April, he was brought to the Tawau Session Court and charged for being an undocumented migrant under Section 61C of the Malaysian uh, Immigration Act. So he was uh, unrepresented uh, during that time, was then wrongly convicted for a crime he did not commit. So he was sentenced to 11 months in prison and five strokes of whips. Uh, on 23rd uh, June, he was wrongly and illegally whipped at the Tawau prison despite the fact that there was an appeal that had yet to be heard by the High Court. So finally, um, the High Court Tawau called up the case for revision on the 22nd uh, July and the judge acquitted Sabri. So that, that's uh, briefly the case. A Sabri's case, a uh, work permit has been wrongly shorted. Uh, that's important, eh? that wrongly shorted. Sabri had to apply for one month special pass. Despite informing the immigration that he wanted to remain in Malaysia until his still pending claim for reinstatement was determined by the relevant authorities and court, and that he needed to be in Malaysia to claim and get justice for human rights violations suffered. Safri was only given two weeks special pass. That expired today, that is 10th August 2022. Sabri cannot be here as he needs to apply again for a special pass or other permit that will allow him to stay in Malaysia to pursue the justice. So that is the situation that the poor Sabri is facing at this point of time. Powers of Suhakam would be contained in the Suhakam Act, and definitely when a, when a complaint is received, it will be investigated expeditiously, as stated by Chairman. Okay? So that's the best assurances we can give to you today, because we have not seen all the documents. And as you will notice, there are, a lot, there are few government departments also involved. There's the immigration, the police, the courts, and the public prosecutor's office. So all investigation will take some, some time. Because you must realize that the government departments do have their priority list. But I can assure you that the officers who are qualified and have been handling issues like this, it will be taken seriously.